Ladies and gentlemen, my name is ITGK Survives, and welcome to ITGK Survives Arc Tutorial Series. Uh, I'm starting this series again. I've done a few episodes back on Arc Survival Evolved, and that information isn't really out of date, but people are going to be more looking for information on Ascended, and there might be a few things here and there that have changed a little bit. So I am going to just go ahead. I didn't have too, too many episodes done. I'm just going to go ahead and start the series over. And this video will start uh, both playlists. Now, I'm not going to continue the Evolved playlist, but if you're going to play Evolved, those tutorials are still current and up-to-date information. Uh, so anything that you need to at least get you started is in that playlist. And you need... You, and more than just survive uh, watching those videos. And then if you need more information, there are plenty of other series that were running far longer than mine uh, that you can look up. But if you're here for Ascended Tutorials, I'm going to try and post them on a somewhat regular basis. Uh, we'll start this video talking about, first of all, what is ARK? ARK is a game that is uh, survival-focused, so... Some of you may have played Minecraft. It's it's kind of like that, but it's a lot more in depth, and it's more difficult. But uh, that with that difficulty comes greater triumphs, I guess is what you could say, as well as uh, some more diversity and depth of uh, content in some respects, especially when you add in things like mods and new maps and stuff like that. The, di the way the different mechanics all work together. Um, it's it's a very... Honestly, it is a very different experience from Minecraft. And uh, so what what is it? Well, you wake up basically in your underwear on the beach, surrounded by wilderness, and you have to eat, drink, build shelter, survive, make primitive tools, collect, harvest... Uh, kill wildlife, uh, you know, just to just to survive. But here's the trick. This is what makes part of what makes Ark so important or so different. The wildlife that you have to survive against is dinosaurs, and uh, so that alone like drastically alters the experience. Um, it can be either PVE where you just work on surviving against the elements, or PvP, where you and your tribe mates compete against other tribes on the server. You take resources from them, kill or steal their tames, things like that. And it's a very unique and different kind of PvP experience, at least that I've ever uh, played. My, my gameplay experience is not as wide as, nearly as wide as some people. So you've got dinosaurs everywhere, you've got these survival elements, feed yourself, get water, build shelter, tame dinosaurs. There's also um, a tech tree, essentially, where as you level up, you slowly unlock the ability to build more and more complex uh, weapons and tools that allow you to survive better, survive against greater obstacles, tame bigger dinosaurs, and build stronger defenses. Uh, eventually getting all the way from these, you know, stone clubs and, and things like that, just running around like a caveman against dinosaurs, to flying jetpacks, night vision goggles, laser guns, <laughs> uh, teleporters, all, all kinds of crazy futuristic tech that you can unlock at the very end of the game. And so uh, it does get pretty, pretty cool. And it's going to take you, it, it is an investment, it's going to take you a while to get there. But the game very rarely loses its challenge, especially if you run the game on the right settings. Whether that challenge comes from other tribes, or comes from the environment itself, uh, it can be a very rewarding experience. It is not easy, the game is complicated, and it's going to try and kill you. It's not going to pull any punches. But if you learn it, if you take the time to learn it, it can be a very rewarding game to be good at, to get invested in. People really sink into this game when they put that kind of time in. And who knows, maybe you will too. There is also a, a story, lore, science fiction lore, if you're into that. If you're not, 
All the cutscenes are skippable. All of the text prompts and backstory is all optional. You don't have to really engage with the story at all. You can just play the game if you're not here for the story. If you want a story, the story that's here is decent. I would say it's average, maybe above average. I, I do actually appreciate it, but you have to be into the sci-fi stuff. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now let's talk about which game you should play, because yeah, Ark Survival is two games. At least right now it's two games. Uh, we'll see what happens with Ark 2 exactly, but uh, there's Ark Survival Evolved, which has been out for years and years. It has several different maps in it, some community-made, some mods, and several official ones. And uh, that one is essentially content complete, but there are no official servers anymore. Ark Survival Ascended doesn't have all the content yet that Survival Evolved does. I'm just going to call them ASA for Survival Ascended, the new one, and ASE Survival Evolved for the old one that's done. So if you... Here's, here's the one thing. If you have a weak computer, you're not playing ASA. You're just not. Like, my computer's worth a decent chunk of change, and I cannot hit 60 FPS in ASA on the regular. And, and even just not recording, it still cannot hit that. So I would say you're going to want bare minimum, like, 16 to 24 gigs of RAM minimum, a quality processor, and, like, an RTX 2060 or higher or an equivalent card of a, of a different line like a radeon card so uh if you don't know what that means uh you're gonna have to look it up because it's gonna take me way too long to explain it but yeah you need a quality graphics card and some good space in your hard drive and your ram storage or your ram you're gonna need a whole lot to play asa ase isn't as demanding being an older game but um it still is not greatly optimized it's just like okay asa can be very buggy uh that might bother you but ase can be really buggy too so it's just kind of you know it is what it is you get used to it there are mods for ASC that there are no equivalents for asa some of them are older, some are more recent to before servers got shut down. There are still mod projects ongoing on ASC that are, are not, have not yet, maybe will not ever make the switch. So if you really want to play those mods, you might go to ASC. ASC is cheaper, and it probably always will be, especially the content that you're getting for the price. And if you're going to play on console, Unless you're playing on PS5 or Xbox Series X, I, I don't think that I would bother looking into ASA. I think I would just get ASA. Um, and like, if you're on Nintendo Switch, you only have one choice. If you're on phone, you only have one choice. So that kind of settles it for you. Uh, ASA, like I said, is not content complete yet. ASA has all of the main story content. But ASA is planning to roll out more content. New dinos, redone maps, new maps, all that stuff. It's supposed to all be coming. Everything from ASE is supposed to be coming over to ASA. It's just going to take a couple of years. So they're kind of rolling it out. But that being said, it's not here yet. So I can't just tell you, hey, this stuff will come because it's not here. And if something happens, plans change or Studio Wildcard shuts their doors or whatever... You know, that content is not 100% guaranteed to come in the future. It is the plan, and it looks like it's pretty likely it will come. So I, I'm pretty confident it will be here. Just uh, I don't want to say something that's like, oh yeah, it's definitely coming, and then something happens. I mean, things happen, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so which one should I play? If you need to get something that's cheaper or that runs on a lower power computer, you gotta play ASE. If you have to play the new thing, you have to play on official servers, 
instead of just the fan-made ones, because the old official network for ASC is not up and running anymore. So if you have to play official servers and that kind of thing, or you want to put, you know, your expensive computer, you want to make the best use of those system resources that you can and get the best graphical experience, if you absolutely have to have the new content, then ASA is the choice. Uh, and please, whichever choice you make, make it for yourself. Maybe if you have a group of friends you're going to play with, maybe talk to them about it. Don't shame anybody for whatever choice they make. The, there's no reason to do that. You know, some people can't afford the computer. Some people can't afford to upgrade to the new game. Some people don't care. So either way, whether you do or you don't, it's up to you. I personally switched over to ASA. All the content on this channel moving forward is planned to be just ASA content. I do have old content that is for ASC. If you're interested in that, they're all organized in playlists on my channel. And there are plenty of other channels, years of old ASC content and tutorials for you to watch. So, hey, welcome to the art community. I'm glad you're here, and I hope you stay. It's not easy. Uh, the game is buggy, and things get crazy from time to time. But it's fun. So, thank you for coming. And I hope you stick around and watch my other tutorials. I know this one probably hasn't helped you too much, but I thought it would be a nice introduction. If it has helped in some way, maybe helped you to make a decision, if you appreciate the tutorials or whatever, you know, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, so you can stay up to date with other tutorials and content that I make on this channel. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what I can do better. I'm trying to work on being more consistent with when I upload, being a little bit more self-disciplined, and working on coming out of my shell a little bit. I'm a very uh, interior-focused person. Like I struggle to express myself, so I can come across a very quiet and, and nervous on a microphone. I'm working on it. But thank you for sticking around, and I hope to see you in the next video.